everybody. Ann here, sitting here having my coffee today with all of you. I'm feeling better. My tummy's back to normal, so that's great. Um, let's see today. Well, it is going to be raining here, so I've got a couple things I want to get done before it starts raining. It's kind of critical that I get it done before it starts raining. So uh, I'll show you those a little bit later. I got to check the worm bin. I know that much for sure. And I want to answer uh, some questions. You guys have been asking me about what's going on next door. Um, he's still there. He's been asked to leave and he's not leaving. Um, so I, I can't really say a whole lot. Um, I just don't want to, you know, make this a big thing. Um, a couple of you had made some points down in the comments section about the eviction moratorium for renters. And yeah, yeah, there's that. But he wasn't renting the land. He just pulled up there illegally. Um, and I know that there's squatters laws in areas that even if they are on a property or in a dwelling or whatever illegally, squatters still have rights. So um, I'm going to have to look into that more. But here's the thing. It is not my issue. Um, unless he comes onto my property, it's not my issue. It is the new landowners issue and the land brokers issue um, because there's nothing that I can do. All I can say is I hope that they don't give them a whole lot of trouble. Um, the main thing that I'm concerned about right now is that dog he's got over there. Um, it is a Doberman Pinscher, a very thin female Doberman Pinscher, and he leaves her on one of those big chains with the big chains um, chained to his trailer and I don't know if he's she's even chained to the trailer because it, I don't think she can get underneath the trailer because it's a very short chain and I haven't heard the dog bark in a few days so um, and it's getting down really cold at night and um, he does not let her inside when it's that cold so I don't know if the dog is still there when he first got there I gave the dog a bunch of food and water and whatnot um, so I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on with the dog. All I know is I just want it to be over with. I want the new people in there, hopefully. Like you said, um, I'm not going to trust them right away either. I'm just not. I don't trust anyone anymore. Uh, I just don't. Um, I have to really get to know you for a long time before, you know, I'm going to let you into my life and let me, let you in close physical proximity to me. Um, because I know how gullible I am. So um, it doesn't matter who you are, young or old, male, female, just assume that I am an, I have become an untrusting person because of all of this. And I have had to become that way because I need to protect myself. So anyhow, I need to stop thinking about this. I need to stop talking about this. Um, I will let you know when he's officially gone and how that all goes. Uh, but I just need to move forward with my own life and feel happy and feel safe. Um, yes, I will be moving a security light over to the other side of the house. So there's going to be that. And nothing messed with them today. So that's a good thing. Anyhow, let's get this dig going. Look at all these beautiful worm casting, you guys. Oh, my goodness. That looks so rich. I'm just going to add some of that. I've gone ahead and dunked it in some water to moisten it and cover that back up with the paper and I'm noticing I'm having a lot less activity on the sides of the bin which is good because hopefully they aren't escaping. Ooh, look at that big old cocoon you guys right there. That looks like a fresh one and that's a good sign. There we go. I just kind of mixed it in just a little bit. The apple is still here and that's kind of weird. I would have thought they would have eaten that all by now but I don't think there's that many worms in here to be honest. So now I'm just going to cover it with this wet paper. And call it a day. Night, night, wormies. I say the same thing to my chickens. Night, night, chickens. You know, I got a wild hair up, and I don't know if you remember, this is the area down by the street. This is an old tree stump. It's where I found my first mushroom. See, this is where we are. That's where the garden beds used to be. Well, this got all gold, uh, all overgrown with goldenrod and whatnot. Um, so I pulled that out and stacked it over there. A lot of this, some of it has little spiky things on it. There are those little vines. And then I don't know 
what this is. I think it might just be part of the tree, so I'm going to find out. I wouldn't mind having a tree growing here, but I have to find out exactly what it is. It looks like it's a tree growing. It's got these little buds on them. Can you see that? Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah. So I don't know if that's a tree, but they're coming out all over this stump, so I think that's likely. I'd like to clear this out completely if they're not, if it's not a tree. But I can't just pull these up. Um, I could pull the others up pretty easily. Um, and maybe just let one tree grow. If it is a tree, I'm going to have to look it up and see what this might be. But otherwise, I want to plant flowers. Have a nice sunflower bed all around here. Just get the rest of this stuff out. The soil is pretty rich here. And that goldenrod was growing really, really well. And I can plant some daisies here too. And yeah, so... Before I pull out any more of these, I'm going to find out exactly what it is. Maybe just keep one of them, let it grow, and kind of take it from there. You know what I'd like to do too, down by the street? I would like, right in front of this culvert, because the soil's really rich here too, kind of clear out a lot of this little weedy stuff, and just plant a big, huge row of flowers. whole bunch of flowers. Yep, I think that's what I want to do. That would be gorgeous, don't you think? To have this whole, my whole area right here lined with flowers. Yeah, I think that's an idea. This garden bed I'm not going to use anymore. If you remember, all of the squash plants got uh, squash bugs. There was about a bazillion of them in here. Their eggs overwinter during the winter. And so I'm not even using the soil. I'm just leaving it there and uh, letting grass grow all over it. Those two tires are used to be my next door neighbors, but they're letting me have them. I might make some flower pots out of those too. There's a lot to be done around here. I mean, I still have the inside to finish completely. That'll get done eventually. I've got enough insulation up there right now to keep me warm. I'm doing okay. But there's lots of trash still to be picked up from the trash piles, but that's not going to be that much of a problem because I know where the dump is. I know it's easy to go to the dump and I've got some big, huge garbage bags that a wonderful subscriber sent to me. So yeah, it's shaping up. I'm thinking for the garden area, a lot of this area will be taken up by garden. Um, I'm also going to plant quite a bit over in this area. Um, during the summer, it's up higher, the sun is up higher in the sky, so I'll be able to bring these closer to the tiny house, um, probably right about right here, because the sun will just be way high up and just be down on them. And then the rest of this area, turn it into a garden area, get rid of that fire pit, because I'm not burning my trash anymore, that's just too smelly. There's my little cedar tree. I wonder if it's dead. Check this out. I have harvested these over and over, and they're still growing. I got another bucket that's still growing, too. So, yep. Um, Mr. Lucas said he would come over in his tractor one of these days. He's got a big logging chain and pull some of these rotting, you know, logs for me over to this area to make some raised garden beds. Whew, that would be really wonderful if we could do that. They're just so big. I just don't see how he's going to do it, but you know what? Mr. Lucas is a pretty resourceful guy, so I'm thinking that we're going to be able to do it. As the day went on, I just felt more motivated to do things. I had a lot on my mind, so I figured I'm going to dig myself a hole, and that's what I did. I dug one the size of this little raised garden bed, and it was actually much easier this time than it was the last time because the ground is so moist right now. So I just dug out a few inches and piled some up over there, put some over there, filled a hole there, a hole over there, and a couple holes over there and over there that Judy had dug. But yeah, I just figure I'm going to get ready for this planting season. And here it is with it pulled over the top of my little hole and I actually did a good job size wise. Yep, fits right over it. Now it's time to start filling it up. First layer old, dead, rotted wood. 
I got some from out by the street and back in back of the tiny house in, in the wooded area. And next layer is leaves, a whole bunch of leaves. Next, I threw some wood ash down there. I'm gonna have an abundance of that. So yeah, that really helps enrich the soil. And then finally, I don't know if you can see it, but I threw some coffee grounds down in there. Yep, you can kind of see that. The next layer is soil, but I don't really have a lot of that right now. I may try and dig some up from the rich areas underneath the leaves back in my woods. Um, I may have one bucket I can add to it. But uh, the next layer is going to be soil and then more leaves, more wood ash, a little bit more coffee grounds, maybe some eggshells. And just keep piling it up until it's kind of formed a mound and then it will be ready for planting hopefully by spring. So it's supposed to rain tonight and that's going to be great because that's exactly what this bed needs. Let's end this video with a little shot of Papa. He's supposed to start his treatment on the 18th, but I may call them and see if I can get them in sooner because he's actually finished with his antibiotics and I don't want it to go too long after he's been finished uh, before he starts the treatment, but he's a good boy. He's got plenty of energy right now. He's otherwise very healthy and he's just such a sweetheart. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.